Hey guys, welcome to the free Unity Assets for May 2020. So number one is the Selection Identify tool, and this tool helps you and allows you to highlight objects or when you hover over a particular object it will display the name of the object when you mouse over so often you've had instances where you will end up selecting the wrong object that you didn't want now this can help you get around that with a simple extension which can just save you lots and lots of time number two is the dialogue editor and this is a tool which allows you to create and add conversations into your games. It comes with an editor window for creating and editing conversations. It comes with pre-made UI prefabs, so no programming is actually required. The conversations can be accessed from a simple tree-like data structure, which allows you to easily create your own custom UIs if that's what you desire. It has online documentation, so you can check this one out. The next one is the Pixel Art Platformer Village Props. It concludes a various bunch of props which 37 villager props, 9 bushes and grasses, 3 rocks, 1 ground tile set and 1 tree. And these two assets I'm going to sort of feature together because they're from the Unity's heretic sort of visual demo that they created and this is the heretic visual effects character which was created with the unity visual effects graph and it includes all the different fancy effects which includes the fires the crumbles the shape morphing and the appearance of the overall visuals of this character and similarly with the digital human that they created with the full shader graph integration with the full shaders for the skin the eyes the teeth the hair and you can see the facial rig that's put directly into unity with integration of a lot of um, different animation types and 2d and 4d data for this character the next one is a something called pause manager and this is a simple package for managing and pausing and resuming games using unity events and it is free is used and it includes and integrated with the unity's input system the next one is the free fantasy medieval towns prop pack and this includes 80 unique props for any bunch of 3d games with three levels of details for each model optimized for a lot of different graphics and the average actual polygon count for so a lot of the assets is 71 but the biggest is a 35,000 polygon building the next one is the ultimate 10 plus shaders and this is a pack of shaders for the standard rendering pipeline and it may not work in hdrp or urp and it includes a snow shader a lava a dissolve an ocean a simple a force field outline shader plasma shader grass sway shader blur shader and loads more in that and this looks like a pretty cool one next one is the player prefs editor and this is enables you to easily edit player preferences with a simple ui allows you to view add edit remove and modify anything at the sort of runtime so you can edit all of these with a actual inspector so you can edit this live and have native integration within unity next one is the lazy scene loader and this is an editor extension which allows you to add a specific editor window which allows you to add any level or scene to that specific window and it allows you to be able to easily open them and maneuver those around so you never have to go through folders to find the asset or the level that you want the next one is the free pixel art hill and it's a background with a hill with all the layers and you can immediately lose it with one background and six different layers with psd and png files and suitable for any pixelated or 2d style game last but not least is i like this one it's called transform colors and this one is a simple uh, editor extension which allows you to change the default component of the colors of the actual x y and z axes transforms in unity and give them a specific color so be sure to check out all the great assets for may 2020 and all my great assets on the unity store check out my discord patreon and be sure to leave any suggestions that you may have for the future so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment, and subscribe cheers